In Looker Studio, we can create new fields for our data source. These fields can be dimensions or metrics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new dimension. And later on, when we see the blended sources, I will show you how to create new metrics. As a new dimension, I want to group the landing pages. For example, instead of saying stationary, Google redesign stationary, I want to see one group called stationary where all the landing pages that contain stationery fall under. Then I want to see another one for apparel and another wife, another one for lifestyle. To create a new dimension, I go to resource, manage added data sources, edit, and at the top, I click on add a field. Then I can select to add it as a calculated field or as a group. I'm going to start with the group. I click as a group. And the first thing I need to do is select the field to group by. In this case, it's going to be landing page. I search for landing page. Landing page. Here. I need to give it a new, a new name. I'm going to call it landing section. And then I need to start defining the criteria for each group. One of them is going to be called stationary. In this case, I'm going to include all landing pages that contain slash stationary. Stationary. I'm going to add another group called apparel that includes all landing pages that contain slash apparel. I'm going to add another group that is called lifestyle, which includes all landing pages that contains slash lifestyle. And the remaining landing pages, I'm going to group them in another group called other. As you can see, I enabled group remaining values as a new group and I called it other. I save. I go back to my table where I have landing page. I'm going to remove bound rate. And I'm going to add my new dimension, landing section. And now you can see Google redesign stationary falls under stationary. Google redesign slash apparel slash men's falls under apparel. Then we have also lifestyle and we have many others. If I remove landing page, I see only the four landing sections. And because I have a lot less values, then I can use other charts like the scatter plot, which is one of my favorite. I go to chart, I click on bubble chart. It could be scatter plot or bubble chart, which are pretty much the same. But in the bubble chart, in addition to metric X and metric Y, I also can have a bubble size metric. So metric X, I have sessions, metric Y, I could have bounce rate. So now I see a bounce rate in my, in my Y axis and the bubble size metric, I could select sessions too. And then if I go to style, I can show data labels and I can color the bubbles by landing section. This is a different way to see the landing pages performance. The landing pages report shows just the top 10, 50, 100 landing pages when we have 900. So sometimes it's better to group our dimension values, have a lot less values, in this case only four, and know how and know which value we need to start prioritizing. So for example, we can see here that stationary groups a number of landing pages 
and those number pages as a group they have a high number of sessions but I also they also have a high bounce rate which is negative the number of sessions is great that's positive but we need to improve on the bounce rate and then this allows me to prioritize I group them I have groups and now what this is telling me is to focus on stationary and then in stationary what I can do is to analyze in detail all the landing pages that fall under this group and see if all of them have a high, a high bounce rate or it's just a specific ones that I need to work on. So that's one of the benefits of having groups, of having uh, dimensions grouped. I'm going to go by to, back to setup and I'm going to convert this chart back into a table. And I'm going to add again my landing page. So I have my landing page and then landing section. And sort these by sessions. Decent. There is another way to create a custom dimension. If I go to resource, manage added sources, edit, add a field. Instead of as a group, I can add the field as a calculated field. Because I'm adding this as a calculated field, then I need to write the formula. I add the name and then I add the formula. When we, as I mentioned, when during the videos about the blended data sources, I will show you a couple of formulas for, for metrics, for custom metrics. But what I want to show now is how to create a new custom dimension. To write the formula, on the left side, I have all the available fields. In green, I have the dimensions. And then in blue, I have the metrics here. I have the metrics. I can write my formula and I can just here search for one dimension and add it to the formula or when I'm when I'm writing the formula I can just start writing the name of the dimension and then it shows the list of the ones available and I can just search for the one I'm interested in. To write formulas, it's very important to know some formulas like, like case when and some regular expressions. So before we go into, we get into how to create, how to write a specific formula, the one I'm gonna show is how to replicate those groups, those landing pages group. Before we can go, we can start doing that. I'm going to show you some of the most used regular expressions, most used by me. And also some import, important functions like case when and others that you use with regular expressions.